sidewalks. Um, so I do a lot as far as uh, campus safety and you know student safety here on campus. Um, so I just want to talk about a couple things, what we do with the real program. Uh, we do have an hour long bystander intervention training program, the, the real deal. Has anyone here seen the real deal? A few of you? Yeah. Um, well, it's great. Um, and like I said, it's about an hour long. And what we do is we talk about reasons why people should want to intervene. And then we also talk about different ways that you could intervene in different situations. Um, I've only got a couple minutes because I have to go to class. But uh, I, I do want to share with you probably the best intervention that we do have. Uh, we call it the interception. Um, so this one would be, you know, you're at a party or you're at a bar or you're hanging out with some friends and you see a situation going on that can be kind of sketchy, you're not really sure, you know, if maybe the, the one person is too drunk to, to actually give their consent, um, you know, etc. You could easily go up and ask either uh, the girl or the guy questions. Um, we give examples of, hey, what are you drinking? Or do you know, what the, do you know where the bathroom is? Just really simple, easy questions that you would ask anyone in any situation. Um, and what the interception does is by asking that question, you either give her a chance to walk away um, if, if she wants, and you're also letting him know that, you know, without coming out and saying it, that you see what he's doing, you know, you see that he's trying to get this girl drunk and he's trying to take her back to a room because just like Nancy said, is what happens most of the time on college campuses where alcohol is used in the party or bar scenes. Um, so that's what that does. Another great example for ladies to use uh, is going up and asking them to go to the bathroom with them. Uh, we hear that a lot, um, that it's very easy for another female to go up to another one and be like, hey, can you come to the restroom with me? I, I don't know, I don't do it, so <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, but that's a great example of an easy way to step in and intervene in a situation and possibly prevent something very bad from happening uh, to someone else who might be under the influence. Um, and then of course, if you do that and nothing's going on, then you either know what their drink of choice is or where the bathroom is. Um, and those two are never bad things. Um, we also like to stress that it's okay to be scared and unsure when you're in those situations. Whether it's something as on one side of the spectrum, uh, degrading language, sexist jokes, or all the way up to situations where rape can be happening. Uh, it is okay to not be sure what to do or to be a little scared in the situation. Maybe because you don't know what to do, you don't know what could happen to yourself. But we want, what we like to stress is in every situation, there is a way to safely step in and intervene in a non-violent way. Always. There is always a way to step in and intervene non-violently while staying safe yourself. And that's what we like to really stress. Um, if you aren't sure what some other intervention techniques could be, you can contact REAL. Our email is real at usf.edu. Um, and you can contact us and see about scheduling a real deal with um, student organization, maybe your class. We will do real deal. We've done real deals for groups of friends who wanted to see it. We don't care as long as people will sit there and listen and want to learn. So if you're interested, please contact us. It's a great presentation. Um, and hopefully we can help you learn more bystander intervention techniques. Thank you.